determine whether the following series converges or diverges sum from 1 to infinity 1 over n times the quantity of 1 plus um, log n squared the entire quantity of log n is squared with every series just take a first quick check to see if the limit is 0 and the denominator is going to be growing but the numerator is going to be 1 so this limit is 0 that's not going to be helpful at all um, this wouldn't be good for the ratio test or the root test alternating series test doesn't make sense uh, perhaps maybe some kind of a comparison test but what um, what you end up doing with this one actually is using the integral test so what you do with the integral test is you let the n's be x's and you come up with this function called f of x this function needs to satisfy three properties it needs to be continuous positive and decreasing okay and it is um, on your interval from 1 to infinity this this function will be continuous there will be no place where the function would be equal to a zero in the denominator at so that wouldn't be a problem uh, the function is always positive and then as the as x grows the denominator grows in turn making the whole thing smaller while the numerator stays constant so this function satisfies our three properties and then what we're going to do is take a look at the integral of this function over the same interval from 1 to infinity whatever this integral does your series should do so what technique would you use to integrate this you would want to try u substitution first u substitution works well when one part of the integrand has pretty much the rest of the integrand as its derivative and if we let u be log x du is 1 over x dx and so that would pretty much do it for us now we could let u be 1 plus log x quantity squared but then that would introduce more to the derivative that's really not there to be cancelled so let's just let u be log x and go from there let's do a limit switch as well when x is 1 the log of 1 is 0 so your lower limit now is going to be 0 but when x goes to infinity then the upper limit will still be infinity so then the integral becomes the integral from 0 to infinity 1 over 1 plus u squared du and that's going to be what we need to look at on the next slide Okay, it's just a summary of where we're at right now. Well, how do we integrate it? What is the antiderivative of one plus u, one over one plus u squared? This guy is arctan's derivative, so we'll end up with the arctan of u. Now we can't plug in infinity, so we make a limit as b goes to infinity for this improper integral. We plug a b in, and we also plug the zero in. Use the fundamental theorem, and now we study what happens as b gets big. Remember, arctan, though, has an asymptote. As the input grows, it can get no higher than pi over 2. And so, this, this integral is equal to pi over 2, meaning that the integral converges. If the integral is equal to a constant, a finite constant, then it, then it, it converges. So then, putting it all together, we had said that whatever the integral does, the series should do. So therefore, by the integral test, our series converges.